Welcome to part four of Advanced Avaya Breeze. Hi, my name is Andrew Proka, and I work at Aero Systems Integration as a communications consultant and API enthusiast. Today, I would like to show you how to add JavaScript functions into Breeze workflows. Without me making a big deal out of it, I actually did this in video five of my, of my introduction to Avaya Breeze when I used the json.parse function to take the JSON return from a web services call and save it in a Breeze object. This time though, I want to more clearly explain the available JavaScript functions and demonstrate a few places where they can be applied. Let's begin with this very simple workflow. I've created a property called current temperature. Like all properties, it is created and stored as a string. Breeze does not allow you to store properties as integers or floats. For demonstration purposes, my workflow will use current temperature as part of its decision logic. Specifically, I want to send a text message if the temperature is over a certain value. To do this, I've added an exclusive gateway. I want to check if current temperature is greater than 70, and if it is, send a text message. If it's not, I want to assign current temperature to a local variable. Sure, it's a dumb workflow, but it will serve my purpose. As you've seen in previous videos, decision logic can exist inside the branches that lead away from an exclusive gateway. I will open up the branch to the send text message task. This is the path I want to take if current temperature is over 70 degrees. So I've set the label as too high and the sequence number is one, well let's set a condition. So here's my property, current temperature. So now let's see if it's greater than 70. Okay. Now let's validate the condition. And it fails. Well, why does it fail? Well, it says that I can't compare a number with a string. Well, that makes sense to me. So how do I turn that string into something that can be used in a logic statement? Well, with JavaScript, that's how. Close this out, let me delete this. To add JavaScript to an expression, open up the functions list at the bottom of the expressions editor window. So, wow, look at all of the different possibilities. I happen to know that the parse int function is the one that I want to use to convert a string to an integer. So let's find parse int, and I don't exactly remember where it is, and here it is, so parse int, okay? And so now what I need to do is I need to change the default string to my current temperature string. Now let's compare that against 70. Let's press validate, and this time the expression is valid. I now want to show you another way that you can use JavaScript functions. So let's save this, let's get out of this. To do so, I created a variable called current temperature. Now, unlike properties, variables can contain non-string values. So in this case, current temperature, which is an object, contains a number value. So let's go over to assign int. In the output mapping of assign int, what I want to do is I want to take the properties, which is my current temperature string, and assign that to my current temperature object, but I want to assign that to the number value. Now notice the little fx appears. This means that Breeze applied a JavaScript function to this map. So now if I open up this mapping, you will see that Breeze applied the parse int JavaScript function to this property. Breeze knows that you can't copy a string into a number, so it automatically makes the conversion for you. There are lots of other JavaScript functions that you can use during mapping and for expressions. For example, I can concatenate strings, 
convert uppercase to lowercase, lowercase to uppercase, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Depending on what you need to do with an expression or a map, the chances are good that Breeze has a built-in JavaScript function that can be applied. That should be enough for this video. To make the best of this new material, start practicing on your own workflows and begin applying JavaScript functions where you need them. They are so much easier than having to write your own dynamic Breeze tasks, a subject for a future video. To stay current with my Breeze lessons, please subscribe to the Aero Systems Integration YouTube channel. Bye for now.